The 9K-33 OSA is a highly mobile, low-altitude, amphibious, short-range tactical surface-to-air missile system developed in the Soviet Union in the 1960s and fielded in 1972. Production started in 1970 at the Znyama Tudra plant, known as the Moscow Aircraft Production Organization in 1973, where a total of 1,200 units were created. This same factory would later produce the MiG-29 in August 1983. The 9K-33 Asa had a length of 9.14 meters, or about 30 feet, and weighed in at 17 and a half tons. It ran off a massive heavy-duty turbocharged D-20 K-300 diesel engine. The main armament consisted of a turret fitted with four elevating missile launch rails, each armed with a 9K-33A missile that could carry 14.5 kilograms of high-explosive fragmentation warheads. Missiles of the initial production version had a maximum range of 10 kilometers and a maximum altitude of 5 kilometers. The rails also include two radars, including identification friend and foe system, and missile capture and uplink antennas. The Missile Systems Land Roll Engagement Radar Package provides a completely autonomous acquisition and engagement capability. The vehicle is also installed with tracking radar and missile guidance components. The antenna system of the 9K-33 OSA allows OSA to launch two missiles against a single target simultaneously, while an electro-optical tracker provides the ability to track the target when electronic countermeasures jam the main tracking radar. The vehicle can carry up to five crew members and is also fitted with a nuclear, biological, and chemical protection system. The system carries its engagement radars on the same vehicle. The all-in-one vehicles can detect, track, and engage aircraft either independently or with the regimental surveillance radar's assistance. The system can't launch missiles on the move, however, but can be prepared for engagement within four minutes of stopping. It takes about 26 seconds from target detection to launch. The 9K-33 OSA was exported to a wide variety of countries and found itself in multiple skirmishes and battles. The 9K-33 proved its combat effectiveness on multiple battlefields around the world, some of which included Cuba, Angola, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, Armenia, and even today in the current Russian-Ukraine war. After the Israeli invasion of Lebanon in 1982, in which Syrian air defenses were obliterated by a massive air campaign against Syrian SAM sites in the Beka Valley, the Syrians managed to deploy multiple OSAs. At least one F-4 Phantom was shot down on July 24, 1982. In the late 1980s, Cuba deployed several 9K-33 OSA units in southern Angola, which posed a significant threat to South African air superiority. South African 61 Mechanized Battalion Group captured an intact 9K-33 OSA anti-aircraft missile system on October 3, 1987, during the Battle of Quito Cunvali. This was the first time that such a system had ever fallen into the hands of non-Warsaw Pact forces, giving Western intelligence agencies an opportunity to examine an important Soviet bloc weapon system. Iraq used OSA systems during the 1991 Gulf War, but it was not as effective in the hands of the Iraqi soldiers as it was in the previously mentioned uses in Syria. The system also saw use in the 2008 Russo-Georgian War by both the Georgian and Russian militaries. Libyan 9K-33 OSAs were used, and some destroyed during the 2011 Libyan Civil War by NATO airstrikes. In the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, the Armenian Air Defense extensively employed 9K-33 OSA missile systems. During the opening days of the war, several videos released by the Azerbaijani military showed several Armenian 9K-33 OSA vehicles that had been destroyed by drones, with a number of them destroyed in the following weeks when found on the battlefield. 12 9K-33 OSA missile systems of Armenian army were destroyed during the Nagorno-Korabakh conflict by Azerbaijani Bayraktar TB-2s. On October 4, 2020, an Azerbaijani Air Force Tukhoi Su-25 aircraft was shot down by a 9K-33 OSA while targeting Armenian positions in Fuzuli. The 9K-33 continues to fight in the Russian-Ukraine war. Both Russia and Ukraine have 9K-33 OSA systems in their inventory, and on March 30, 2019, during the war in Donbass, the Ukraine Joint Forces reported destruction of an OSA AKM surface-to-air missile system along with the Jetel R330ZH automatic jamming system. As of June 2023, 12 losses of 9K-33s by Russians are documented with photos or videos. Of these, seven were destroyed, one was damaged, one abandoned, and three were captured by Ukrainian defenders. There are currently 20 nations which employ the 9K-33 or one of its variants. These countries include Algeria, Angola, 
Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Bulgaria, Cuba, Ecuador, Georgia, Greece, India, Iran, North Korea, Morocco, Romania, Russia, Sudan, Syria, Turkmenistan, and Ukraine. The 9K33 OSA platform has been shown to be both reliable and deadly in the hands of a competent crew. Hence why it is still used today by nearly two dozen nations and continues to be upgraded and fitted with tune technology. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this educational and entertaining. If you did, please give a like, comment, and subscribe to keep me motivated to make more.